Immerse yourself in the profound insights offered by Father Chuck Belmonte as he delves into daily reflections on various gospel passages from the Bible. April 27, Wednesday. The legend of the Cristo de la Vega venerated in Toledo, Spain. It is an image of the crucified Christ with one arm hanging down. It is believed that it is a part of a sculptural group of a descent from the cross of unknown author, the other images of which do not survive. According to the Toledo historian Francisco de Pisa, it was already in the Visigoth Basilica of St. Leocadia in the year 1554, and a legendary fame accompanied him. At least three legends circulate on the Christ of the Vega and although the characters differ, in all Christ's sculpture is summoned as witness and miraculously he answers, indicating with his arm the truth. Nevertheless, the most popular legend that surrounds Christ of the Vega is the story of the Spanish gentleman and the maiden that José de Zorrilla included in his play A Buen Juez. Mejor testigo, facing a good judge, a better witness, 1838. The poet and playwright recounts the love affair of Diego Martinez with Inés de Vargas, to whom he swore before the Christ de la Vega that he would marry her when he returned from the war in Flanders. The young woman waited for the soldier for three years, and when finally she saw him, she went out, running to meet him. Diego, who returned as captain, as well-groomed as arrogant, disavowed the young woman and his oath. So much good fortune, power, and time change men. Driven to despair, Doña Inés appealed to the governor of Toledo, Don Pedro Ruiz de Alarcón, who asked her, Do you have any witnesses? She, seeing how Diego was lying, presented the Christ of the Vega as her witness before the astonishment of all. In plenary meeting, the Tribunal of Justice came to the church to hear the witness, Doña Inés and Diego, along with a multitude of onlookers, were there. And before the image, the notary solemnly asked, Jesus, Son of Mary, this morning before us, you are sought as witness from the mouth of Ines de Vargas. Do you swear to be true that one day Diego Martinez came near your divine feet to swear that he would marry Ines and take her as his wife? Zoria describes that the dry and hollow palm of the stiff hand from the naked arm came to place itself onto the documents, and there in the air a more than human voice cried out, Yes, I swear. When all in the multitude looked up, they saw the image with the lips open and the arm unnailed from the cross. The legend concludes, I would be delighted to extend an invitation to you once again tomorrow for another insightful reflection on the gospel by Father Belmonte.